It's your boy Nilgoon in the house, back with another bang on video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to talk about some crazy transfer rumors. Yes, some certain rumors are really crazy. Should you believe them or not? My goodness. Wow, that's, that's, that, that's a question that I would want to leave it to you guys. But more importantly, it is so insane, really insane for me to even judge the things that, are, that I'm actually hearing in the transfer market. My God, these, these news are really hilarious. But more importantly, they are transfer rumors and I think that we uh, I should definitely let you guys know about it. And more importantly, we're going to talk about, of course, a new midfielder at Arsenal. Um, uh, uh, everything, everything, a new winger as well. So we're going to definitely talk about it and stay tuned and watch the video till the end and make sure you subscribe if you see daily Arsenal content. We come up with these kind of stuff every single day twice. So let's just jump into the circus. The cir I would call it circus because we've got some awesome news as well regarding that. But moving on, the first news is former Arsenal star Emmanuel Adebayor has actually revealed that he advised Thomas Partey to snub interest from Chelsea and Manchester United in favour of a move to Arsenal. Well, he said it to Thomas, uh, I mean, he says, at an event in Ghana, uh, Thomas told me that some clubs in England, namely Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United and others have shown interest in him and he needs advice. I advise him to go to Arsenal because I have, I have had the opportunity to play there and I, th and I think it will be good for his development. Arsenal is more than a club, it is a family and I'm, pre I'm impressed with his performances so far in the Premier League. So, Emmanuel Adebayor is one of the reasons why Thomas Partey is at Arsenal. More importantly, is following shortly, so stay tuned. And the next news is about Kieran Tierney. Former Scotland boss uh, Craig Levine has actually hailed Kieran Tierney's performance against Slovakia on Sunday. The Scots fell to an unlucky 0-1-0 loss to uh, Trnava, in Trnava, sorry, but the Gunners defender uh, produced an adventurous display to which Levine said, I think that was Kieran Tierney's best game in a Scotland's shirt. But more importantly, uh, we know that uh, Gareth Southgate has praised uh, Buka Yosaka recently after his performance against Belgium on Sunday, he says uh, there were several players who it's the very early stages of their international careers who were excellent. Like Jack Grealish is the obvious one, his performance was outstanding but I also thought Bukayo as well. Coming into a game like that as a very young player against an inexperienced player like, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, <laughs> against an experienced player like Munier, he had an excellent game on the left and we when, when he came into it so, well, a Levante goalkeeper Aitor Fernandez has confirmed that Arsenal were one of the clubs, including Athletic Bilbao, to, who actually tried to sign him this summer. He says, yes, it's true that there have been contacts. Quite a few clubs have asked and those are two of them. But here I have been very happy and I hope to continue being so. So, Arsenal wanted Levante goalkeeper Aitor Fernandez, but instead they went for Alex Renarsson. But yes, let's let's talk about more stuff. But also, Thomas Partey, uh, more than advice, uh, here's what uh, <clears throat> Emmanuel Adebayor had to say about the whole uh, Thomas Partey to Arsenal saga. He says, about six months to a year ago, he was telling me about contracts that he had from England. So it was, uh, you know, um, uh, 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 it, it's not it's not it's not uh, early days. I mean, he was talking to uh, Emmanuel for a very long time. Because he's young, he's still learning and Arsenal are a family and I'm happy and impressed with his first steps in the team. Unfortunately, we all saw what happened against Aston Villa at home, but he's a great player, a great personality. He's like a young, younger brother to me who is always looking for advice and we get along very well. So Adebayor and Thomas Partey, they go gel along very well. But moving on, well, Bukayo Saka tweeted this image and also posted this on his Instagram as well and with the caption, uh, did not go the way we wanted it to the last minute to last night, but lots of positives to, positives to take from the game. On a personal note, I'm very happy to play my first competitive game for England, but which I hope is the first of many more to come. Now, of course, he posted this, but Jack Grealish came on the comments. This happened in, on Instagram because Grealish's performance was also so good because Saka posted this photograph and uh, he also wrote the whole thing. But more importantly, it was the reply from Jack Grealish. What a player, Jack Grealish uh, said to Bukayo Saka, to which Bukayo Saka reverted back, goat. Jack Grealish had a wonderful game against uh, Slovakia. I'm oh, sorry, Belgium, I'm sorry. <laughs> Too many mistakes tonight. Against Belgium, it was a really nice performance, but unbelievable, isn't it? 
So moving on, let's talk about more stuff because it looks like Arsenal, they still have renewed hope of signing Barcelona winger Ousmane Dembele and amid rumours that he's uh, dreaming of a reunion with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang where it looks like Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and uh, of course Ousmane Dembele had a fantastic, fantastic uh, uh, Dortmund uh, career. These guys were unbelievable and it looks like Usman Dembele is looking to uh, through uh, is, is looking through uh, the door because of course there is an injury and he's got, he's got a Barcelona lifeline because there's an injury to Ansu Fati so it looks like Usman Dembele is going to get his chances let's see if he deserves or if he actually makes the most of it at Barcelona only time will tell but moving on let's talk about the big news of the picture Arsenal are close to signing Christian Eriksen in a January swap deal. Yes! <laughs> yes! And several sources in Italy, including Corriere dello Sport, suggest that Arsenal are looking to trade in Granit Xhaka to get ex Tottenham man on board. So it looks like Granit Xhaka to Inter and Christian Eriksen to Arsenal, a straight swap deal. My goodness! How. How, 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 wow, my God, I don't even have words to discuss about it. But I don't completely, completely believe what Correa de los Sport have to, uh, have to say about it. But these are the, this is a reality. This is a news. This is a transfer rumor. Uh, should you believe in it? It's up to you. It is completely up to you. Will I, will I recommend you to believe in it? No. No, just, just, just don't completely believe in it. But that is an unfreaking belief. I mean, I mean, wow. <laughs> I, 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 I slept yesterday night and I woke up. I never expected this thing to happen, but wow. Well, well Christian Eriksen to Granit Xhaka would actually, this is this makes sense because uh, we've got a lot of players uh, like Granit Xhaka playing in the midfield. So we look like Christian Eriksen. We need, we need a player like him, but can Christian Eriksen be the next all candle? I don't know, man, if he's going to make it. I really don't know. But moving on. Well, Muhammad al Leni has tested positive for the coronavirus just three days after international teammate Mo Salah was uh, declared. The Egyptian midfielder is currently on international duty. al Leni's agent Alan Nazmi tweeted the news from his personal Twitter account writing, al Leni positive COVID-19. Get well soon. The 28-year-old was in Togo with the squad ahead of the Africa, Africa Cup of Nations qualifier on Tuesday. Alas, he cannot play because, of course, being positive. I hope, please, please, uh, you know, get well soon, Mo. Just, just, just come back. That's what I want you to, uh, you know, come back to uh, Arsenal fit because, of course, that this gives Danny Sabayas the more chances. Or Granit Xhaka in the next game against Leeds United. And talking about Leeds United, former Arsenal youngster Luke Ayling said his Leeds side's game against Gunners will be just like any other. There's, not, there's nothing going to be special according to him. He says the 29-year-old came, actually the 29-year-old came to the ranks in North London, but was released in 2010 as a teenager. He, tell, he actually told to LUTV that I spent a lot of time there as a kid, but I was only a kid then and I never really played or trained with the first team. I don't know anyone there and I've got no ties there. So for me, it's just another game. But it will be nice to finally play against them in the Premier League after getting released at 18 will be nice so let's see let's see what happens luke ailing back at the emirates how good it will be only time will tell but moving on well pierre emerick Aubameyang took to social media after his gabon's side lost the game to one to gambia we all know what had happened they were held up at the airport in the early hours of the morning before to, uh, the the kickoff of yesterday 4 pm and actually uh, PM Rick Obama Yang tweeted this image uh, with the caption, We lost as men with pride, thanks, Panthers, Adderate, CAF online. And uh, he actually gave a middle finger to CAF online for some reason. And I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever that meant for my man, for my captain, I, I, will, I will definitely, uh, you know, it was such a bad thing to uh, encounter. I mean, Gambia hosting your country to come and play and they did not recover from their airport sleep in Gambia and suddenly it's like they lost the game. I think it was a pre-planned thing and it still happens. I, I don't I don't know. I mean I used to see this happening in India in college level but or school level. But internationally 
two countries. Sad, very sad state of affairs. So these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. Please let me know in the comment section. Would you actually consider Granit Shaka and Christian Eriksen swap deal? Let me know in the comment section what you guys feel about it. Otherwise, I'll definitely going, I'm definitely going to put a poll on it. So cheers. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe new mission 15000 subscribers follow me on my instagram new new mission there as well 500 followers let's just reach there cheers